78 years on, and uh, just a simple look at the devastated city of Hiroshima after the bomb fell. Uh, you know, we should be we should be finding a different way to do things. And uh, there's now a sort of crisis because of the release of Oppenheimer in Japan just shortly after the anniversary of the Hiroshima bomb. Uh, and uh, the um, the Oppenheimer and the Barbie release. And uh, there's anxiety in Warner Brothers about the memes that have been circulating with the um, with with the pictures of Barbie in front of the atomic blast and so on. Uh, the important thing about war and about the memory of war, which is so which is so significant, is uh, that it's within the lifetime of people. People are still alive who um, experience that catastrophe. And today we're in another series of wars in Africa and in uh, Russia and Ukraine. And while it should be very clear who has the moral high ground and who is the invader, who is good, who is bad, uh, it, it's not a matter of half a dozen as one, of one and six of the other. Uh, there is often a very clear moral case to be made. I, I think there is with Ukraine. But while while that is uh, certainly true on the one hand, on the other hand, we should still be negotiating, we should still be talking to uh, achieve peace. So yes, we should be supporting Zelensky. If Zelensky wants to fight, if Zelensky is able to fight, we should make sure that he can to... Uh, take back the land that was stolen from Ukraine by the aggressor Putin. No question. But at the same time, we should be negotiating with Putin. Now, that's often misunderstood. It's often misunderstood. and say, Oh, but you, so Zelensky should be capitulating to Putin's demands? Absolutely not. No, but somebody should be negotiating with Putin, and that should be um, and the grown-ups in the room, but the grown-ups in the room are too busy uh, thinking they can only do one thing. We have two hands. We have two hands. With one hand, we can support Mr. Zelensky. We can provide him with weapons to resist, and we should. With the other hand, we should be sitting down with Putin and negotiating and encouraging Putin to consider his options. As for sanctions, I'm afraid I'm not a fan of sanctions. I think they're silly. And I know I know Zelensky um, was the one proposing them. But in that particular area, I think he's wrong. Sanctions simply hurt the ordinary people. And there is no evidence that sanctions work in the short term. And in the long term, people find a way of living with them. So people from Iran find a way of going into Turkey to do business there and then going back. Uh, people find a way round sanctions and governments find a way round sanctions. Sanctions in the end are more for the people who are imposing the sanctions. It's all about um, gesture politics. It's all about looking good. And we should be beyond that. We really should. So I think now is the time to consider our position and um, closing all these doors simply means that we don't have any access to Putin and his lengthy table, his um, icon of masculinity. And we need, we, need, we need to change that. We need to change that fast. Yeah. This is um, th this this is uh, a bay demonstrating a complete change of direction is needed, and you need to wash your eyes. <laughs>